we're going to start the tour of the ship from the back of the ship on deck eight so on deck eight you have two whirlpools either side capacity of 17 people you have the sunset bar tons of seating and then as you go in from the sunset bar you go into the clubhouse so it has a number of different shows on in here at the minute we've got the shopping you will also get your last charm if you are leaving us and it is a flying fish because that is the national dish in Barbados each island's charm reflects the island's cuisine or the island's history if you haven't connected your little Avia cruise ship charm from me yet please see me at my desk it's on deck 7 I'm in front of the show experiences desk and I'm there between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock this afternoon if you've got any questions I'll be in the ports with you tomorrow I'll be at the Diamond International from 9 until 11 and then pop into town and I'm back I'm always in the terminal as you come out of the clubhouse, you have toilets either side, and then you get into the keys. So in the keys, you've got your juices, water, a lot of seating area, and round here you have your cakes, your pastries, your fruit, and teas and coffees. Fruit. Here. So the, as you come in from the beach house, sorry, the clubhouse, turn right at the keys and you have Green & Co. Now this is a, a specialty dining. It's a vegetarian, vegan restaurant. We haven't actually been here. It's just not our kind of food, but what we've heard of it, a lot of people have said the food is amazing. It's probably one of the best restaurants on the ship, but when we looked at the menu, it's just something that we don't think we would actually enjoy. So back at the keys now. So you have roast, which is the carvery. So this is different to the breakfast. So you have fish and chips, the fusion and the roast. In the mornings it's the breakfast. So the omelettes, the fry ups and the pancakes and waffles. Tons of seating area. You'll see the hook, wine and vinegar is where they do the fish and chips more seating area here so you can see it is a sea day so you get to see the areas that are mainly the busy area so you have the waiting area and bar for Cindy there and Cindy so this is the Cindy restaurant and bar we did eat here the other night it was really nice food definitely recommend coming here and then the waiting area there as well so if you want to see more of Sindhu, have a look in our previous vlog. More seating, this is for the keys, more seating here, and then you walk into Ripples. So this is the ice cream area. So again, tons of seating here, your outside seating as well for Ripples and the keys. And as you walk through Ripples, you have more seating area and the sweet shop. I have shown quite a bit of this already on the previous vlog. And then as you come to the end of Deck 8, well the main atrium, you have Keel and Cow. So again we have uh, here on our previous vlog you can see we all enjoyed the food we had there so this is all keel and cow all the way wrapped round we're at the top of the atrium so if you look down you have the glass house there and then the amber lounge at the bottom they do have shows on here in the evening as well so then as you go down the stairs from keel and cow 
onto the glass house. glass house you got the cellar jar which is a part of the glass house and this is all the same restaurant there down the bottom you do have this just coffee shop so I'm just going to show you what else is on this so you have reception through here this is on deck seven Reception's busy with everybody going home tomorrow. So as you walk through reception, you're going to start coming on to the shops. There is a number of shops here. So you have, there's a lot of jewellery shops, so this is one of the jewellery shops. This is like the tax free area. This changes like every day of what they have to, what they sell. This is in the middle area. So you've got jewelry, well, handbags, jewelry, chocolates, more handbags and alcohol in the middle there. So if we get to where we were, so the jewellery shop here, continue walking. And you have again watches, so that's where Ollie bought his watch the other day from the Citizen Fund and saved $300. There's a lot of watches, watch shops on this shirt, so you got more shops here, mainly again just watches. We do have different deals of the day as well, so definitely have a look on your horizon. And then you come into the souvenir shops. This is where they sell all their Arvia souvenirs. So you've got the teddies, you've got an Arvia boat, Arvia sweets. We've got our beach bag from here the other day. And this is your loyalty and cruise sales. And again, just the um, souvenirs there. We've got the shore experience area there. But if you carry on where we were, we've got the duty free, you've got your cigarettes and also alcohol. And then this is the actual rum that they distill on the ship. Ollie said it was really nice. It does look nice, it's a nice bottle, isn't it? So that's £44. So all prices are in sterling. Then as you come out of here, so there's where you've got your um, crew sales towards the end of deck seven. So if you carry on on deck seven, you got your, it was a dead end there, but it is the exit to Meridian. And then this is where Meridian is, so the end, sorry, Zenith, sorry. Zenith on the end of deck seven. And if you loop back round, you've joined by the section we just saw a moment ago. This is your short experiences. So this is all connected with the cruise booking, holiday booking as well. You've got your photo gallery here. So there is different nights where they are taking photos and this is where you can come and see them and purchase them. Little technology shop here, selling phones, watches, speakers. And if you, if you carry on going forward, you've got the other shops as well. So you've got all your creams and smellies, perfumes in this shop here. So like at the moment, deal of the day, buy one, get one 25% off. It's kind of like an airport with the shops that they have. 
Thank you. And then on the other side is the same, but you can get your makeup, hair oil. So I've got my bra up and all from the other day. And then a shop either side. So this is handbags, purses, jewellery. And then on the other side, again, you've got perfumes and there's hair accessories. Well, hair devices there, you've got hair dryers and hair straighteners. And this loops you back into this section here where they're selling all of the handbags and this changes every day. You've also got an Elemist stand there. And then a step out in style. So this is the shop that sells men's clothing and accessories. I'll just show you quickly around here. Again, tax free and they have deal of the day and additional 25% off sale items. And then as you come out of here, it loops you back into the atrium where Glass House was, where they started. So nearly every atrium it loops into something else on every floor of the atrium. It's another shop here. So sunglasses, beachwear, handbags, all in here. And then if you carry on, you're back at the glass house. So as you come through the glass house, still on deck seven, you have walked straight into the casino. Also, and on every level there is where you can fill your water bottles up with filtered water. So we did bring our Stanley cup and filling that up every day has been a lifesaver, definitely. So you, on deck seven, after the glass house, you end up in the casino and then there's Brody's Bar. So Brody's Bar, they do different entertainment. They've got the football on, they do killer pool, they do dad, dart tournaments. And if you have a look in your horizon, it will show you what's on and when. Pool tables completely free to use, as well as the darts and the deep box. Of the progressive so this is Brody's. Yes, our last day, so today, All this, places serve Costa Coffee. The winning team that has formed the battle. Yeah. Uh, so, so, this is walking back through the casino. And as you come out of the casino, the headliner beaters is here. So this is on two floors. This is where we came last night to watch Tommy J. So it's got a talker at the moment, you can see the theatre here. This is all still on deck seven. But see dear, so it's very busy. And as you walk through from the headliners, as you come out, there's another entrance there. And it is on two floors. Yeah. And this, at the end of the deck seven, towards the back of the ship, where you've got headliners, Brody's entrance is also here. As you walk down from the headliner theatres, you then get onto deck six. So this is the Limelight Club. It's all closed at the moment, but it is adult only, most of the things that is booked on there. So, and then you've got the entrance of the headliner theatres, the lower seating. It shows you actually what's on deck six. So it's quite a busy deck. So as we go forward, you've got the Oasis 
spa and health club so Ollie came here the other day and had his hair cut he's very impressed with the service you can get a number of things done in there and nails massages and then as you come through you've got the fine art so all of these are available to purchase And at the end of here, you have the Limelight Club. So this is a bar and entertainment. Just, uh, so we haven't actually been there, with it being adult only. And as you come through, you have more at either side of the walls. And this takes you into Ripples. So this again, it's all Costa Coffee, coffee menu, cakes and drinks all the same. We have another filtered water dispenser there to use. And this is Ripples. And then you have the Amber Lounge. Here they have different entertainment during the day. And the minute they've got dancing, they have quizzes, pianoists, singers. Past, as you come past Vistas, we've got the Swarovski jewelry shop. And if we just go to the right of right. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are we? Another waterfall to there. Crazy. So this is where the Anderson bar is. So again, we have been here quite a few times. This seems to be the quietest area. We, this is where we come and play cards and have drinks because it's just normally quieter. This section here is the one that's mainly busy. Obviously, see day today, a lot of people in the atrium and a lot of people in the shops and on the decks. It's where they have, their, where they do their rum, the tide, golden rum, or golden tide rum. So you can see that there. There's Ollie. This is a, such a nice area to chill. And then here you've got a massive cupboard full of books. So you can use a book swap so shelf so it's completely free. And then you've got still Anderson's, it's quite a big bar. In here, more seating, bar. So you've got all of your draft beers there. Area. There is a fireplace just on the back wall there as well. But this has always been really busy, so we always tend to go to the first room. Now, opposite Anderson's, you have the cinema, so Ocean Studios. We did show this, so you've got free vending machines, they sell drinks, coffees, snacks, um, and it shows you what is on and what screen. So, we've got the show, Shank Redemption. This is what we watched the other day, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, and then Indiana Jones. We've got a really nice seating area here. On a sea day, I would say come to the cinema early before your seating, because it does get really busy. There's also a disabled toilet there. So as you walk down, there's three screens. There's no booking required. So on this one, screen three, all the blue is what seats are available, so only three people in there. We've got screen one and then screen two there. So we did do a more in-depth video of this when we actually came to the cinema. We've been twice, so me and Oliver have come just by ourselves and then all three of us as well. So then as you come out of the cinema and you turn left, so as you turn left from the cinema, let me make sure I get the restaurants correct this time. As I said, it was Meridian downstairs and it wasn't, it was Zenith. So as you walk down, on the right hand side in the moment, the Sixth Street Diner, we came here last night. We had lunch here as well the other day. We've had dinner here twice actually. But this one in dinner time, you don't have to go into the virtual queue, you just come at the minute they're doing brunch. So breakfast and brunch 10 till 2, dinner half 5 till half past 9. You have to make a reservation on your dinner, but you have to get into the virtual queue. 
So it is a really nice restaurant in there. And as you carry on walking down, to the left hand side you have the olive grove this one is included with your cruise fare there's no additional charge for this one other than the drinks same as the meridian and zenith as well and six seat jar it's all completely included obviously it's closed at the moment but this is a Meri meridian restaurant always shows you what is going to be on the menu so already I think I want to come here for dinner now. And the times as well. So we just missed this this morning because we got up really late. I think half nine, it was, it was quite late. I think we came, we went to eat last night about half past nine and we managed to get in the six street diner. So here you have a section here, just where you got your lifts and your stairs. So that is deck six. Just as we were looking at the bookshop at Anderson's, we just found, Games, we have brought our own games, but yeah, oh, yeah. jigsaws, yeah. a lot of jigsaws there, isn't they? Yeah. Handy yeah. tonight. And again, this is just opposite the cinema. I was kind of sure because I did miss it. So where Anderson's Bar is there and the, the distillery, you've got the cinema just there to the left. As you turn to the left here, you have Mission Control. Mission Control is an immersive and interactive kind of like a escape room we haven't actually done this it shows you the rules and how to play and how to book you can book so it's 20 pound per adult 10 pound per children and depending on how old the children are you choose either the sunken city explorers or the deep sea heroes so that's that so in the middle of deck six and then as you walk through you're back in the atrium there we're heading up now to deck 16, so six, seven, eight, then nine to 15, it's just cabins. 16, you've got the Sky Dome, 17, Sky Bar, and so on. So we'll show you all of them as well. So when you get to deck 16, the way that, where we've got the lift, you've got the Sky Dome here to the right, which we'll show you. We've been here so many times this trip. And then to the left, you've got the stairs, but there's also horizon to the right and left of there. So as you walk into the Sky Dome, again, you've got two um, water filters to fill your bottles up. This one we go to the left, and we have Crystal Bar, which we're gonna have, sit and have a coffee now. And then you see Crystal Bar there. You have a snack bar straight forward, which is just the hot dogs, pizzas, cheeseburgers, chips, and so on just turn you around here so they always show a movie here or they have live entertainment this dome is currently closed but this is just open the sky dome and then you have a swimming pool and two jacuzzis so the, the um, restaurant down here is called taste we've come here quite a few times in the evening well in the afternoons and had burgers hot dogs pizzas a cheeseburger is really good the chicken burger is amazing but unfortunately has, we have run out so it just shows you what they have to offer and then as you walk through so all of the decks you have towels so you don't need to bring your own towels you have towels here and then baskets once you've used them so you can see a bit more of the sky door as you come over you have sundays so this is ice creams coffees and then you have the bar area as well which is the Laguna Bar, and you have the massive avenue chair there, and then more seating. So this is where we're going to sit now. We're going to sit and have a coffee, and then Oliver's going to go in the pool, and then we'll show you the rest of this deck and the other three as well. So I just want to say as well, there is an upstairs to the sky door, and up there you have more seating and there's another bar at the top corner. Um, so they do have a lot of shows in an evening. We've watched quite a few now. We've watched Lady Gaga, Pink, um, Country and Western, and a Digital or X, I think it was called. But this is, if it's really, really hot, this is always cool in here. As you come up to deck 19, you have the basketball and football area. Which is here. The balls are always here to play and completely caged in. And as you come out, 
here is where you do the altitude for the aerial walk. This is where you check in. And then this is the altitude aerial walk, which Ollie and Oliver did do on a previous day, which I did vlog. And then the vinegar. So you've got this whole mini golf here. So this is at the top of the ship. This is deck 19. And just below here, you'll see deck 18 with the infinite and the bar there as well. And this is all deck 19. Aerial mini golf basketball. So as we go down to deck 18, So we just had to kind of go off how we left earlier but from top to bottom just because of the, the just the amount of people it was just really tricky to try and get through people to show you the best so we've waited till night time so this is the panorama bar deck 18 you've got toilets either side loads of seating areas some beds you've got showers either side as well Use towels area and collect your new towels just from random steps. And then you have the top deck infinity pool. So then as you walk around, so where the infinity pool is, if you follow this round now, so you have toilets either side as well of the bar, male and female. So as you walk from the infinity pool, you have two golf cages you also have a disabled toilet and two golf cages so these again we've done this in a previous vlog so you just hit your golf ball as hard as you can basically it's the golf net oh is he well it's all your clubs that open them in there so that's where we were just a minute ago so there's loads of ways to get down to this level now but yeah, we did try to finish the tour earlier, but unfortunately it's just way too busy. We were just getting in people's way, or they were walking in front of me and walking towards each other. It just wasn't, it wasn't very good. So as you carry on walking, we've got this little area here. And this is where the chest set is. So normally you have all the seats out, obviously they do tie them down um, on an evening. So you have this chest set, giant chest set. And then we have another section of deck 19, which is a sun terrace. So I will take you and show you this. So this is normally a really busy place in the daytime, especially on the sea days. It's quite a big area, especially if you're not wanting the pause. And it looks down onto Sky Dome. So this is just another section of deck 19. So you have really the moon is. So just walking down from the Sun Terrace on deck 19 back to deck 18. got the sky dome which is just there the top of the sky dome nothing else end of the deck uh, then down here you have the children's splash uh, plaid area we can't get through that at the minute because there's maintenance but it's literally just deck chairs and the splash um pad as well so we'll take you down to deck 17 now so this is deck 18 so as you come out of the sky dome have the first of many whirlpools. Oh, yeah. So if we turn this way, so right, we'll walk down here. So left side of the boat. So we're walking to the aft now. I've learned that while I've been on this cruise, so the aft at the back. 
so this is where the kids club is so that is called the reef you can book them in on the my holiday piano which you don't need wi-fi for we haven't used that because oliver's just not into kids clubs he's a bit older now he doesn't really enjoy them and then you have this section which is a part of the kids club so you've got giant connect for table tennis and seating area so that's all there so it is good because it's all in the shade for the kids there's xbox playstations so the tv's on the walls there and as you continue going down this is where we've done we've come quite a lot this week because they've got games so they've got two lots of shuffleboard all your equipment is in here in this brown wooden box it is padlocked at the moment so you have one shuffleboard two shuffleboard we have two lots of table tennis again all the equipment is normally there but obviously it's night time now so it's all been locked away but i'll just show you this is quite popular actually you normally have to wait to get on and then we do have ring toss here again two lines <laughs> and then as you continue on the deck you get to one of the whirlpools again you have these are egg so you've got your clean towels and your used towels people do take these to the beach and when you get back onto the ship there is an option to put your used towels in so you don't have to bring your own towels so a whirlpool these all close at six yeah so then as you go around here still on the same deck deck 17 shower little water feature here this is the infinity pool that we just showed you on 17 18 sorry and then another shower and another whirlpool. Now down the side of here, it is all cut off at the moment, but there's just seating, there's nothing else down this side. It's just a walkway, all you saw manges and that takes you back to the sky dome that way. So we'll just show you. So the next one down is deck 16. So we'll take you down there now, but obviously this is normally rammed with sun lounges. You have another infinity pool and you also have the swim up bar, which we'll show you now. The deck 16 seems to be the most populous deck. We tend to go to 18 as it's quieter and also the sky dome, which again is a lot quieter. Here is seating area, so this is for the buffet. You also have the swim up bar, so this is a swim up bar, and then you have the infinity pool as well. Showers, so if you've got to come to the buffet, you can bring your food outside and sit out. And then there's the infinity pool. So the infinity pool, just to make you aware, the beach, sorry, the infinity swim up bar is adult only so we did try on day one and we all three of us went in there and all of got told to go to the different pool the infinity pool and while we sat in there and had our drink same men same menus on all of the bars and just as you cut through here you have got grab and go and a water fountain so the grab and go is just where you get your snacks on this side it's just more seating for the buffet so it kind of all wraps around so i'll just show you more seating here and then that's the entrance to the buffet there so this is basically the other end of the sky dome which is where we were where we finished the tour earlier all in all over there then as you go through Still on deck 16. Again, on all of the lifts, it shows you where you're currently at and also all the other floors. So you did see me in the mirror. I've had to take my heels off to play basketball. So I am walking around barefooted at the minute, but I will put my shoes on as soon as 
we were any, with anybody. So this is the Horizon restaurant, which is a buffet. On an evening though, one of these, there's two sides, but on an evening, the beach club also, it basically, I'll show you here. So you've got a Horizon restaurant and the beach house. So half of the buffet or some of the buffet is closed off for the beach house. It's different menu, different food, which is an extra price as well. So I'm just gonna pop my shoes on so I can show you the buffet. So I'm quickly gonna show you, now I've got my shoes on the Horizon restaurant. There is going to be people eating, so I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do a quick walk through. I'm not going to go around the buffet because the food's pretty standard to be fair. So that was just half of the buffet. It's double the other side as well. I just didn't want to do it uh, while people are eating. And then you're back where we finished earlier in the Sky Dome. So we're back to the start where we started. So the only thing we missed off is the crow's nest, which we went to just before we came out tonight. So I'm going to pop that um, footage in now for you. And that is on deck 17, right at the front of the ship. 